everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Bemi Abiola, welcome. So today, as you can see, I am bare skinted in a tank top, all of that, and that's because I'm about to get ready for my day. I thought I would sit down and film for you guys, like, my everyday makeup routine using my favorite products. Um, I always get a lot of questions, like, you, you review so many things, like, what's your favorite what are your favorite things? What are the things that you gravitate towards every day? So I was like, that's actually a really good idea. Like, I should just show you guys. So that's what I'm here to do today. Um, I'm going to be using my favorite products as well as talking about other products that I rotate in as well that are also favorite products. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested, please keep on watching. And if you're not, please stop right here. It's not worth your time and effort. All right, guys, so I'm first going to start off by priming my face. My favorite primer of all time is Milk Hydra Grip. I've gone through, I think, like four or five of these since it released. This is just my favorite primer because it, honestly, like my makeup stays with this. Like it, it stays on all day. It doesn't, it doesn't transfer as easily as if I was to use another primer. But it says that I just love this primer. My The foundation sticks on really nicely. P products just layer really nicely over it. So I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. So now I am going to just color correct my face. I don't use an orange color corrector to do this because I realize if I use an orange color corrector, my face literally turns orange. Um, so I'm going to be using Pat McGrath concealer in D33 to conceal and color correct. Um, for me, concealing is not highlighting. Concealing is concealing. Like I'm trying to conceal my darkness. Highlighting is a different thing whatsoever. So I'm just concealing and color correcting around my face. My, this is my favorite concealer. Like, this is my favorite concealer, hands down. Um, I use it to highlight, I use it to conceal, I've used it to contour. The best concealer I've ever tried. I love the texture of it because it is, it's like a satiny, demi-matte consistency. I'm just blending it out right now. It's a satiny matte consistency and it doesn't pick up when you continue to blend it. It's still malleable, it still moves, but it doesn't lift, it doesn't pick up. Like, you know how sometimes with some concealers, once they've dried down a bit, and you go back over it with a sponge to try to blend it, it kind of like picks up and create a, creates a patch? This doesn't do that. So I just love it. I've panned, how many have I panned? I've panned like four of these. And like this shade, as well as in like a couple other shades. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of powder, just kind of set the middle of my face. I am gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium, deep. Um, people do the powder before foundation method, but for me, if I like try to correct First, if I try to correct over the powder, my concealer goes weird, so I do this afterward. I just kind of set it, and my makeup lasts all day. I don't get as oily super as quickly, so I just like to just quickly just run this over and just kind of set the concealer. Now I am just going to cream sculpt and add a little bit of glow on my skin before I do foundation. Um, I'm going to be going into my Z palette. These are the Salt New York Cream Pro Tints. I was introduced to Salt New York by Jen Loves Reviews. Um, she was the one who gifted these to me. Thank you, Jen. Um, I really appreciate it. Like, and I have not been, like, I have not stopped using these a lot. Like, the this is my favorite contouring, contouring cream contour. Like, this is my favorite. I love the texture of it. It's very thin, so you can easily share it out when you blend it, or you could build it up to get the intensity that you want. Obviously right now, because I haven't blended yet, it looks a bit like scary. It looks very scary, but 
but I promise you once I blend it it's gonna look so nice it shears out so nice I'm using the medium deep shade um, this is one of the cream the cream blush tints that they have medium and then deep um, I typically use deep more in the summertime uh, but for the most part as you can see I use <laughs> medium deep a lot I'm gonna go into the cream tints. I'm using the shade gold. This is gold and I'm gonna mix it with bronze. So I'm just gonna dip between these two. Just tap that with my finger on my cheekbone. Also these kind of warm up very, very nicely. I took it in way too far. These warm up very, very nicely with your body heat. So I also have a coupon code with Salt New York. Um, they're really cool to give me a coupon code since I love their stuff so much. Um, also, regarding coupon codes, I know a lot of people, let's just talk this for a second. I know a lot of people are like very hesitant about coupon codes. Um, for me, I have a couple, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but they're, the coupon codes that I have for the brands are the because I love their, actually love their products. I don't believe in I don't believe in getting an affiliate code with a brand that you don't love and you don't use regularly. If you are interested, my code is BEMS30. I'll put it on the screen. It'll also be linked down below in the description bar as well. I look very shiny. <laughs> it's funny right now but it's gonna it's gonna be fixed so now moving on to foundation my favorite foundation of all time are the Fenty foundations you're probably like okay why do you have two colors of each so um I don't like the hydrating foundation separately or the soft matte foundation separately I actually like them mixed together I'm one of those people it's just like this is too wet and greasy this is too dry and matte so i was just like hmm let me mix them see if i like it mixing them together creates the perfect skin like finish satin demi matte finish and it's just beautiful um the reason why i have two shades is my summer shades is 450 because i run more neutral tend to get more red um in the summertime and then i just bought four 445 i did try it 445 is a tad too light it's the perfect undertone warm olive undertones this has neutral undertones but it's a tad red so i'm gonna mix them together and then i just like to go i'm not trying to cover up the contour i just want to just go above and below it and just kind of feather it in so it's kind of like natural looking. I'm not underpainting. I'm just doing the, well, it, this is underpainting, but I'm not using the concealer underneath too. I like to do my concealer over the top. But like you could just see like the skin-like effect that it just gives. Oh, I gotta take it out my neck. Almost forgot, almost forgot. <laughs> I'm just gonna actually highlight my face. I'm going in with the shade medium deep 24 in the pat my Wrath concealer like i said my favorite concealer already explained why now i am just gonna blend that out it is such just look at it it just creates such a beautiful highlight don't worry this will this will balance itself out once everything kind of just sets a little bit it, it looks kind of crazy right now but i promise you moving back to like contour stuff so um like i said i love using the salt new york cream pro tints to like contour however this is not always practical for every day <laughs> um especially if i'm in a rush i also really really enjoy using the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I'll use ebony and espresso too. Um, I use espresso which is more kind of like 
warm red i'll use this to kind of like cream bronze i didn't do that today so i'm actually gonna quickly add that after this and i use express uh, ebony <laughs> to uh just kind of sculpt my face i'm gonna go back into um espresso just kind of tap a little bit of this on since i forgot to do this and just just to warm up my face a bit so just gonna warm it up a bit i completely forgot that i always do this <laughs> It actually like really makes more of a difference because if I don't add ebony in, no espresso in, baby, I, I don't look human half the time. Like, I'm just going to set my face. Um, you guys know I have been talking like nonstop about this Chanel loose setting powder. This is the old formula like I've been saying love this powder i really like it for days where i don't want to like heavily set under my eye this is more kind of like a natural finish like a natural soft set it kind of blurs a bit um i also really enjoy the laura mercier powder like for i think years this was like the only powder i would use um i haven't used this in a bit but these are my two favorite powders but since i haven't used the laura mercier one in a bit i'm gonna be using it today um i kind of i just i've missed it so but yeah those are my two favorite powders um everything that i'm using in this video is going to be linked in the description bar down below um as well so i'm just gonna push that into my skin I don't bake, by the way. I do not bake <laughs> at all, except, like, around, like, here, my nose, because I wear glasses. If you guys didn't know, I wear glasses. I'm blind as a bat, and my makeup, like, with or without glasses, tends to break down right in here around my nose very quickly. So, for the most part, I don't bake, but, like, after I finish setting my my under eye and everywhere else that I highlighted, I'll go back in and kind of like just bake this area. I don't bake completely underneath the eye, so I'm just gonna just set the rest of my face, pushing it into my skin. Just push. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder down just to help catch it wet for when I do my shadow. Okay, so now I'm gonna set the rest of my face. My favorite powder of life. I've gone through countless of these. Like I think I've gone through like seven or eight within like the last like four or five years maybe nine, 10. This is the MAC Studio Fix powder. This is the shade NW50. I know people have sentiments about MAC, but like for me, MAC, MAC was like one of the very first makeup brands that I ever used. So it has a near and dear place to my heart. Also with MAC, I just don't have to worry about finding things. If undertones are gonna be off, like I don't have to worry, you know? I don't use it as a traditional like foundation powder. I use it just as a regular like pressed powder. I have the Fenty one. It doesn't, it doesn't, just doesn't hit as much as this one. So now I do my brows and for my brows, I use the Mented Cosmetics brow pencils. I'll also use the Benefit brow pencils, but right now I'm just really, really liking Mented. I've been using them for, I think, I think almost a year and a half now and I really enjoy it. I love the formula of these. And then um, to set that, I use the Gimme Brow um, Brow Gel, like Fiber Brow Gel by Benefit. Love this. Um, that's how I get like the natural hair-like effects on my brows. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the darker of the two shades that I use. I like to use Take a Brow. This is kind of like similar in color to the number 
five in the precisely my brow by benefit um but i like to start off with this color and just kind of like shape my brows out y'all are getting like a full brow routine right now <laughs> i usually like do brows off camera but this is like my routine actually i don't even know how long this video will be but y'all are getting it all also brows are supposed to be be uh, sisters or cousins, not twins. My brows are not symmetrical, so <laughs> uh, my left one is significantly higher than my right one and more arched. So it doesn't bother me if people think that my brows are not symmetrical. It really doesn't because they're not supposed to be. Your face isn't perfectly symmetrical, so why should they be? So now I'm going to go in with the shade brow down. It's a lighter brown. I'm just going to use that in the head of my brow. Like so. And I'm just doing upward strokes just to give that like nice, like hair-like appearance. Then I like to go in with the Gimme Brow Brow Gel in number six. And I just like to lightly just brush my hair up and set my brows. And like, as you can see, it just kind of gives me that hair like, it really accentuates the very little brow hair that I have and makes it look all fluffy and pretty. I'm just gonna clean up my brows. I'm using the Pat McGrath concealer in D29 to do this. I only clean up the undersides of my brow. I do not clean up the top because I don't like halo brows and I want my brows to look more natural. So I'll only clean up the underside. But, um, and also this is also gonna prep and be my eyeshadow primer. Um, I don't use an actual eyeshadow primer for my eyes because I have hyperpigmentated eyelids, as you can see. And I prefer just to like completely blank out my brows because I feel like my looks come out better when I do. Some people like to not do that. They just like to use a regular eyeshadow primer and have their natural um, skin underneath do that. but. I don't like that. All right guys, so we're gonna move into eyeshadow. So for me, basically, if you were to see me on the street, I would just do basically a brown halo eye. That's just me, I can't help it. It's just really easy to do because I know what things to grab. In terms of eyeshadows, I typically use palettes. I don't like singles whatsoever. But the four main palettes that I rotate between are these. So the Jackie Ina palette, obviously like I will use this to death. Basically credit, ginger, and edges are like the colors that I will use out of this palette along with Trust Issues, Zam, Soleil, Dwellas. Basically I will use this palette. I use this palette a lot. One of my top favorite palettes goes with me when I travel. The Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This palette is amazing. Uh, if I want to just do a quick, quick look in the morning, quick bronze look, love, 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 love this palette. I also tend to use this a lot, rotate it in as well. The Pat McGrath Mothership 5. Mine looks so busted. I use this palette a lot it's very 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 easy just to grab in the morning love using it for the mattes the sparkly shades this palette is like my top is my top mothership palette also like to grab this for every day top favorite eyeshadow palette that's great for every day anyone who's looking for a neutral palette especially black girls fellow black girls this palette is my favorite palette of life, and that is the Melt Rust palette. Um, I, I've had the stack for years, and when they came out with this palette last year, they turned the, the stack into the palette. I was like, oh, I'm so happy. 
because this palette is such a good neutral palette just to have like you have your warm tones in here i feel like warm tones um look really really nice on deep skin and you can get like soft glam you can get deeper glam you can go smoky you can go light usually like nine times out of ten this is what's on my eyes if i have a neutral look on um, i'm gonna first dip into this shade called rubbish right here i'm just gonna just use this as kind of like an erasure blending shade just put this down as like my first transition shade basically love this shade it doesn't it just kind of add a tinge of depth in without going like so like deep structure if you will then i'm gonna go into the shade called rust this is my favorite shade out of this palette i have it in the stack form the stack singles um this i've panned the shade like five times because it's such a nice like shade also i've used it as bronzer and it's a beautiful bronzer as well so it's very multi-use i'll use it as blush sometimes very very pretty multi-use product so just gonna throw this right below rubbish next i'm gonna dip into the shade called mar and i'm just gonna start creating my halo really 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 dark beautiful red brown shade so i'm just gonna start packing that color and taking it up into my crease right below rust and take it on the inner and outer part and also i'm gonna connect the two in the middle as well um, i like a closed halo eye some people like open halos i just feel like it a closed one just fits my eyes better eye shape better so now i'm gonna hit up rot squared this really really dark dark brown um i'm just gonna just kind of like pack it and just deepen up that area on the inner and outer corner like just the outermost parts this is not like the original rot in the stack this is a lot darker um like maybe like two or three shades darker than the original rot but i prefer the original rot over this one honestly i like the color better but this one is pretty too then i'm just gonna go back into mar blend 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 take the shade tarnish which is this kind of like golden shade and i'm gonna mix it with this shade called redox um and i'm just gonna tap between the two using my ring finger and then just kind of tap that in the middle of my lid redox is like well no tarnish is more bronze redox is more rose gold i kind of like a hybrid between the two colors so now i'm just gonna line my waterline and tight line my upper lash line my favorite eyeliner of life is the pat mcgrath labs um perma gel glide eye pencil this is an extreme black um and my favorite eyeliner pencil um basically i will only really use black or brown if i use brown it's black coffee by pat mcgrath but this is my favorite eyeliner pencil so I'm just going to line my waterline and also smudge it down a little bit into my... I'm going to tight line a bit. Just close my eyes. Tight line. So then I'm just going to go back into Mar mixed with Rod Squared. And just run that over the eyeliner. You have to be quick if you want to smudge this out because this eyeliner, once it sets, baby, it sets. So I'm just going to run that over oh that was a lot that was a lot i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of rust just kind of blend that edge out and then i'm gonna tap into rubbish and then just clean that up even further i am going to do my lashes mascara more towards the end because i usually finish up with that um, but 
I'm gonna go into my face so bronzing powder contouring all of that so typically what I love to use I alternate between these so these are the dusk and midnight palettes by neon and MUA and Midas cosmetics and then these are the um, face palettes by makeup revolution and Tammy um, basically these are what I use because I I was so happy when I saw that two brilliant black creators came out with face palettes that actually work for us um because you all got you will guys all know like contour bronzers like uh, contours and bronzers are very very difficult to find for deep skin like once we have them like people will use them all the time and that's for me also because like I'm friends with Darius and I bought these because I want to support him and these have become a staple in like my routine um Tammy also brilliant creator when I saw she was coming out with this with Makeup Revolution I was like this is amazing like I have to support her it's gonna be good so these are this um Tammy's if you're on a budget is more affordable like these are like 15 dollars a piece um Darius I think it's like 30 30 dollars 35 bucks for these each but they're well worth the prices um so i'm actually gonna mix them in the summertime i typically like to use midnight and golden hour let me show you guys these so this is midnight i tend to use this this and this one in the summertime because obviously i get darker but um because we're like coming out of winter going into spring um i typically use dusk and paradise glow so um, i'm actually gonna mix them and use the bronze goddess shade in paradise glow and the bronzer shade in dusk and just bronze my face i guess so i just like to tap my bronzer on just like to tap it on and then kind of sweep down I've always gotten a lot of questions on like how do I make my forehead sculpts look really good this is it creams first cream sculpt and then light powder bronze afterward then I'm gonna go into the contoured cutie shade this shade as well as the contoured shade from the dusk palette I'm just gonna tap into those just lightly just contour my face just keep it in the back basically just do 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 moving on to blush so this is my favorite blush of life you will catch me wearing this blush all the time and this is the Moran Beauté Chocolat blush love this blush it's not too dark it's not too light it's that perfect terracotta y shade you can buy this in the palette or the singles i typically use the palettes for travel though they're blush palettes for travel but this is my favorite blush another blush i really enjoy is mac raisin as well mac raisin and hard to get as well if i'm going more for an orange cheek i'll use the tropical queen from the paradise glow tammy palette with mac telling glow extra dimension skin finish so those are kind of like my favorite blushes basically i stick to the same things all the time i also really like i really really like marin peach by marina um terre rouge and sweet brown so basically these the marina blushes and some mac blushes and the orange blush in this basically is what I use. Favorite highlighter of life is Becca Chocolate Geode. You've probably heard Becca shutting down in September. So when this goes on sale, I'm gonna be picking this up. But this is the highlighter I typically use on a daily basis. You can see I have a significant dent in it. Um, this is my favorite highlighter ever. It's just like, it's not too light it's not too dark it just kind of gives like a nice glow to the face it's like 
a natural sun kiss glow. Sorry, I'm just fixing this because I accidentally went too far down. But you can see it's just like a natural glow. Um, so I'm just gonna sweep this. This and La Peach. I would put La Peach by Artist Couture like right in the middle. And every time I would do that, I would get compliments like here on my channel in real life. People like, what highlight is that? I'm like, oh, it's Becca Chocolate Geo and La Peach. And they'd be like, oh, that's so pretty. Actually, let me go get La Peach so I can do it right now. So, all right, I have my La Peach. I have a little bit in the cap. So, what I do when I do this is I'll literally just put La Peach. Just a little bit in the middle for that like, bam. Like you see, just a little bit of La Peach in the middle and I like to buff it in. Just like, bam, you see that? Bam. So, just gonna tap, 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 tap. Ooh, you can see that? And just kind of like buff La Peach in. Like boom, boom. But yeah, I get a lot of compliments when I do this highlighter combo. So I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Oop, I took this up way too high. And then I'm just gonna tap into Chocolate Geode and highlight my brown bone as well. Tap. Do, do. Just do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna move on to my lips. I'm first gonna start off with MAC Prep and Prime Lip. This is a lip primer. This kind of helps um, my lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lipstick, lip tint stay on all day. So I'm just gonna throw this on. Also, like if I wear like super drying out, what is this little piece of lip skin doing? Ooh, ooh, ow. This is also just gonna help like my skin not like dry out and crack and get chapped because my lips tend to do that a lot. For my lips, um, I'm gonna be using basically all MAC products because I am a MAC ho. I love MAC lipsticks, MAC lip glosses. Um, I'll use either MAC or Pat McGrath basically for my lips. But um, today I'm gonna be using my favorite lip combo ever. Start off with MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. The goat of all brown lip pencils. Everybody has this lip pencil. It's either this one or cork. So I'm gonna use this just to line my lips. Then I am going to use Kingster Lipstick. This lipstick is my favorite nude lipstick so it's like a olivey yellowy nude color like just look it's very caramelly like it's so beautiful just like look at it and i just had to stockpile od on this because mac just discontinued this in the u.s and canada it's available internationally but they ain't making this for us Americans and Canadians anymore. So that made me really upset because this is like a really pretty nude. Most nudes are like mauve or pink or peach. Not everybody can wear mauve or pink or peach. Um, so they tend to gravitate towards like olivey nudes and not a lot of people make olivey nudes. Um, Mac has had several, but every time they end up being discontinued. And then I'm also gonna go in with like an olivey gold nude gloss this is primordial this has also been discontinued also had a stockpile this joint up so i'm just gonna throw that over like just look at how like much of like a caramelly brown and it goes so well with my hair too oh, gorgeous another nude combo that is my absolute favorite i'll well this one is like my top favorite but another nude combo i like is mac persistence which has also been discontinued i don't understand why like my favorite things are discontinued and then spice lip gloss on top of that that like that is a really good kind of like beige beige kind of like 
nude. I'm gonna reinforce that with chestnut. I want to tell you what I also use if I'm not using a nude lip, if I'm not doing nude lip. I'm a nude lip whore. Nude is easy. But if I'm not in a nude lip, I'm usually in a red lip. And these are my two favorite red lips. Both blue are blue reds. So for liquid lipstick, um, I typically use the Cherry Blossom Lip Paint. This, every time I wear a red lip, you guys ask me what it is, and this is usually what it is. Um, for a bullet version, this is no longer being made. This has not been made for years. The If I'm wearing a red lip and it's a bullet, it's MAC Riri Wu. Riri Wu, I've had this for a long time. If something was discontinued that you like, you would hang on to it. So, yeah. But Riri Wu is my favorite bullet red. Came out with the MAC Riri Hearts MAC line years ago. Favorite red. Um, I have stockpiled this. So favorite red of life. Like this is my favorite red lipstick. I don't use it often because I don't want to want it to ever run out. But that's basically what I use for my red lips. So I'm going to move on to the last step, which are my lashes. Um, so for mascara, I my favorite mascaras are the Pat McGrath ones. So Dark Star, and I found my fetish eyes finally. So Dark Star gives length. Um, it adds length. And then fetish eyes is more like thickening. I like mixing them both. I like putting them both. So I'm going to start off by putting fetish eyes down first just to kind of get that thickness and volume in there now i'm gonna go into dark star and just run that through And then I'm gonna just pop on my lashes now. These are my favorite lashes. Um, basically, I use these in like almost every single video. And these are the Allure by AV lashes in the style Sovereign. If anybody wants to pick them up, um, I do have a code with them. It is BEMS20 and you'll save 20% off your orders. I've been wearing these lashes for like two years now basically because I love their lashes. They're not huge. They're not they're not huge but they're not like thin lashes either. They're just like a very nice volume and length for me that I can deal with. I don't really like the overly like big 25 millimeters ultra fluffy. They make my those make my eyes kind of like um droop and these kind of uplift my eyes a lot so lashes i use them literally all the time these are the lashes you will catch me in if i bump into you if i'm not bare faced <laughs> so very 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 last step is setting spray so i like to use the fix plus bronze light um i'm just gonna spray this all in my face just to give me even more glow generously of course then the milk makeup hydro grip set and refresh spray this stuff <laughs> this setting spray <laughs> my makeup does not move with this setting spray like it stays on all day <laughs> all right guys so this is the finished look this is my everyday makeup routine start to finish love this look it's a very bronze look glowy perfect for every day you might think this is too much but hey this this is my look um goes with my hair perfectly love like the caramelly tones of it like the best thing ever. I will link everything that I use in the description bar down below. Also, I will link the video on how I got this hair color 
down below as well as well as in the eye up here i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think of this look will you try it um let me know if any of the things that i use you use they're your faves or if you haven't tried them will you try them let me know down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already make sure your notification bell is turned on and set to all so you guys don't miss any future video uploads from me don't forget to follow me on my social media my instagram and twitter are at bems abiola i'm pretty active on there um if you want to just interact with me like on a day-to-day -day basis talk to me see any new content that i'm posting over on those two platforms you can follow me there and yeah i hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are and i will see you all in my next video bye guys